YouTube you have been a stranger too long and now I, uh, I am going to respond to at least two tonight because it's already 942 there so I'm going to respond to Marco Esbido now the first question is John Doe can you show how to do a embed plate do meaning do embed plate okay I'll show you that and then he also asks here how to make studs one and a half inches diameter because in the drop down there's only one inch okay and then I'll, I'll respond to all these the rest of these comments in a later video keep in mind I have not received my mic I bought it from I guess a wrong website now I I went back and I bought it from eBay the trusted eBay and it should be here within a week so first of all there is no uh, connection with just an embed plate in a plastic we have one which is an embed plate but has an angle welded to it which is then welded to the beam I'm guessing that's not the one you want if that's one you want there is the command this one is the uh, embed plate perpendicular to the wall I'm guessing that's not the one you want either see I can read minds and I'm reading your mind and it's not telling me that that's what you want what I'm guessing you want is this uh, there is no uh, specific uh, connection macro for an embed plate so you know the easiest the best one to use is end plate okay it's just the different names pretty much an embed plate so you select your column your beam add some studs to that and keep in mind uh, we don't have the one and a half inch one and a half inch diameter there we're gonna add that now before I go into that notice your plate is flush with the concrete and depending on how much you want it how far you want it to be from the wall you can do that always by going to layout and changing here by plate thickness or by value in which case you can leave it way out or shove it way in there I don't know why you'd want to do that but you can do that yeah according to Murphy's law is it Murphy's law what can happen will happen so you know if you want to do that do that anyway uh, we don't have the one and a half diameter and that's the one we're going to be creating the stud I mean the one and a half diameter stud now open management tools and go to table editor and open B O B C D whatever that is astro base and you want to go down to connect connect the diameter you want to add a new line there and this is millimeters so in millimeters uh, one and a half is so 25.4 is one inch plus 12 which is 37.4 I think 37.5 is one and a half and in there we put one and a half inches inches oh inch okay and then after going diameter go to connect the relations again connect the relations you wanna go down to the bottom and uh, you wanna copy the existing like if you if you're changing the Nelson S three L inch you can copy an existing and just paste it. Okay. In this case we're just gonna copy that and then we're gonna paste that. And we're gonna give this a one seventy nine, which is the next in line number. Okay. And in this menu, we're going to select one and a half. That's one and a half we created in the connected diameters.
okay and then you have that okay and then you close this is not the end of the road there is more to this puzzle you need actually a secondary program which in this case is access Microsoft access okay and once you open access you browse to see program data or a desk advanced in 2017 16 15 whatever you're using if you're using AutoCAD 2000 advanced in 2001 or 1989 by all means navigate to that and then steal data and astrobase is there then you open astrobase okay once that is open in the search command you go connectors so you want to go connect the diameters connect the diameters okay so 37.5 it's not that type it in add a new line 37.5 inch and then you go to connect the relations and in this one it's easier if you uh, filter through just filter to the this s3 l inch that's the one that you want and you look at it there it's uh import if it's not important there just type it in uh, uh last time i did it i had to type it in i think but you know uh, just type in if it's not there. If it's, if it's there already in the thing already, then go just save and close that. And then the next thing you do, you want to update, update the uh, uh, the, the update the defaults. And we're not done yet, but we have made progress. Let me just check something here. That's see we still haven't we still don't have oh we do have one and a half okay we do have the one and a half but we're not done yet because you, you can see your stats there they are kind of just like tree stumps you know the, it doesn't have structure it's not quite a stud now to make it a stud we go again into management tools uh, shear this time going to shear start edit and then in there we're gonna give it a head okay we're gonna give it a skull a noggin uh, whatever other words you can use for head the reason I'm just rambling on here is cause my advanced deal is pretty slow my computer I don't know if it's my computer it's full or someone is hacking me at present or whatever is going on but something is going on I don't understand so I just wait for it and then of course in here in the diameter section you go to the three assets in the diameter section you're gonna find your one and a half you just created and then you're going to add give it a source okay uh, source 3 SHL okay now to give it a head you go into geometry and geometry we know our the thickness of the, the down to the stars one and a half so we say the head will make it two inches that's the a dimension there and the thickness of the head we're going to say three quarters you know just so uh, we are on good uh, we have a good ratio of head length to head thickness so I'm going to click apply and then if you have to wait like I do you have to you do just that you wait you can't do anything about it uh, wait a minute I forgot something here sorry so Nelson SHL geometry to give it three quarters I'm sorry yeah you have to put in like uh, the lengths that are available and whatever but you can copy this information from a different uh, from a different uh, uh, from a different size 
say you go to the one inch and you go to the oh sorry one inch SHL okay then you go to the G oh. so we need one that is existing already ah anyway if if you find one that's existing before all this is done okay and then you copy those but I'm going to just put in random ones here because I am a guru so three quarters length I'm gonna say five inches weight mm, point eight okay part name I'm just gonna call this as usual I don't go through a video without making up my own creative words here I'm gonna call this N S Nelson starts. Yeah, let's give it NS.5. So we know it's the one and a half. So we know it's the. Oh, crap. I should have given it. Anyway, NS.5. We know, we know what we're talking about. Again, I have to ramble on here for a little bit. But soon enough, we shall see the results of my work. Okay. Uh, so after that just apply one more time just for just to be sure maybe I just applied could only to ramble on just a little bit more but either way we applied twice and then we're going to wait for that hourglass then we go back uh, I don't know if we should yeah we should probably hit one more apply you know just so that we're sure everything is applied you know when we do things once we do things we do them thoroughly you know so we don't have to do them twice measure twice cut once and then we close that and then of course before we do anything we're going to update our defaults and then we're going to go into join properties and I want you to see the magic this is why I'm moving this to the side I want you to see the magic as it unfolds I'm Houdini as it were uh, studs studs uh, we're going to change that to a different one and then we're going to change it back to one and a half oh okay uh, that did not go my way that did not go my way I do apologize I do apologize I only do this thing once Ugh. I'm sorry maybe I missed a step let me just make sure here I may have missed a step I may have missed a step but we've, we've, we've already accomplished the uh, crap oh there we go we're back online mm, one and a half geometry two inches three quarters a two inches one and a half actually maybe We'll go 2.5. Let's see. Yeah. 2.5. Yeah, we'll go 2.5. Mm, I'm not sure if the part name. Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. No, we didn't screw up. We didn't screw up. We did not screw up. This is for the record because the length here I put was 5. So the 5 is the one that has the the, the, the the length of 5 is the one that has a head. So if you want a different length, you put a different length in there and it will have the head. So now we we'll go here, we we'll change that to 5. Notice this the head will come on. Voila, see? Boom, boom. Oh, I feel so good. I did not scroll up, I just missed this step. Okay, so so now we have learned from my mistake that uh, when you go into shear start to edit 
the properties the lens that you put in are the lens that are going to have the head okay so that's a good thing I made the mistake there so that we all learn I don't want to have to answer that question again but my thing is taking too long I don't think I'll sit through another session of waiting for this so okay let me just go back and uh, confirm let's see one and a half because we have length 5 there that's the one that's going to have these dimensions so if we put a different length here you know what screw it for the sake of it I'm going to put 7 inch and the weight is pretty much the same 0.8 and this one I'm gonna call NS7 okay that's who we are we create apply ah okay I do apologize for my computer being slow and this video being lengthy but I must teach I must teach by God I will teach okay so advanced joint properties again studs so if we go six for shits and giggles boom no head now we go seven seven bam head YouTube 